Is it a problem here? Let's do custodians. Please cover the links. <coughs> a lake in the water. Pipes. The custodian. Custodian found that. 1920 fluid ounce of water had leaked out. Leaked out. How many gallons of water? Is this? Hmm. This is the conversion. Yeah. <coughs> is the conversion factor? Okay. So a school custodians discover a leak in their water pipes. The custodian found that. 1,920 uh, fluid ounce of the water have leaked out. So how many gallons of the water is this? Okay. So how do we convert it? So basically, we want to convert 1,920 fluid ounce. To gallons so the purpose of this question is this like here in this da, 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 da. how do we convert from fluid ounce to gallons fluid ounce to gallons yeah fluid ounce to gallons uh there is a ah. fraction given that yeah factor that given actually we need to remember like what is fluid ounce to gallon is how much but these problems they already given the conversion the conversions factors correct okay conversion factor yeah. conversion factor that they given is one gallon in a 128 fluid ounce. So, to convert fluid ounce to gallon, what do we do? We multiply with the. Uh, I think. Yes. I think we multiply 128 by 1920. Is that right? Mm. Okay, so if we want if we multiply with one hundred twenty eight, this will be the fluid ounce again, right? So for, for example, for one nine twenty time, if we use this denominator as a numerator, so this is fluid ounce, and this will be one twenty eight fluid ounce. So the trick is when you see the 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 unit. So the unit here, with the unit here, units times units will be unit square, right? Units times units will be unit square. But our goal yeah. is only want to have the gallons. So how do we arrange to have only gallons? So this will be not it. How do we arrange? How do we arrange to only yeah. have gallons? Yes. How do we arrange? I, I would say that we divide. By... Oh, I want to say like we divide, but I don't know if we do. Hmm. It's the but divide by what? Like one thousand nine hundred twenty divided by one hundred twenty-eight. 
Yes, like a, it looks like divide. So basically, we multiply with this factor. This factor. Multiply with this given factor. So one gallon over 128 fluid ounce. Fluid ounce, right? Now, when we simplify the fluid, so this is fluid out at numerator, this is fluid out at denominator, so we can simplify, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, what we have only left is gallon. The units will be gallon. So that's what we are looking for here. We are looking for. So now the number 1920 1, multiplied by 1 divided by 120H result will be <coughs> So it's just 1920 divided by 120 Yes, yes, I should like that. Can I use a calculator or? Yes, can. Okay. Like, uh, 15. 15. So 15 gallons. So 1920 1, fluid ounce equal to 15 gallons. Yeah, 1 5 gallons. 15 gallons. That's the answer. So they give this factor conversion is to have the conversion. Our conversion. Otherwise, if they don't give in this, we need to to remember what is flowed down to gallons. How how much of the difference, and then we multiply anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, any more problems for that? <coughs> Hold up. No, number 21. Number 21, okay. Number... Wait, where is number 21? Oh, not in the same picture, okay. Okay, 21, higher order thinking. <clears throat> yeah, it's the advanced question. Oh, advanced. It's the higher order thinking, and I see there's a problem about, like, critic analysis, something like this. Which one? Critical no, that just like that. That isn't higher order thinking. Oh. But the critique analysis, you know, critique reasoning. Oh, reasoning, yeah, yeah. Critique, critique reasoning. reasoning is like it tests like your reasoning. Oh. Like it tests like it's, it's gonna like reason with you. It's gonna be like, is Hunter or this person right? Because they said that fifteen oh. gallons e is equal to something something. Oh, so they they want us to give the reason rather than like computings yeah they want you to reason with it yeah I mean, okay so this will be a challenging one so hunter is splitting a quart quart of ice cream with seven member with seven members members of his family if the quart is split equal evenly or equally evenly the same how many cups Will each family get? Oh. I think this is not the challenging one for you. Remember. Oh, I'm gonna tell you this is. <laughs> really? So basically, you have seven member, like, and you have a okay, a quart of. So you have a quart of ice cream so this is a mound right yeah. what Wait, we, uh, 
one quart of ice cream. The amount is one quart, and you want to share with seven members equally or evenly equally. How do you do? For example, you have one dollar in your pocket, but then you want to share with seven of your friends. How do you do? One dollar, but I want to share with seven of my friends. Yeah, seven of your friends. Don't share. <laughs> okay, well, no, the, the 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 purpose is one thing to share. The question is to share. Why? I will never do that. Mm -hmm. It's it's a dollar. A dollar is a dollar. Yes. Okay. Let's give this the number differently. You have one million dollars. Yes. Oh. oh. Okay. You have one million dollars. You want to share with seven, seven of your friends. How do you do? Like, how much seven of your friends will get? Each of them will get. Should I calculate that? Yes. How much each of them get? Get will get. So it's just dividing. Dividing by. A million and a, and a seven. By seven, yes. Similarly, so the operation will be the same. So, Hunter, a kind guy, want to split a quart of ice cream. So he have one quart of ice cream. He want to share with seven members. Share with seven member evenly, equally. So, yeah. how do we do? Uh, so quart is about like, like one quart, like one fourth. Yes, one quart. One fourth is then that's like zero point twenty five or one fourth, right? No, this is a quart is a unit. Oh no, I'm oh stupid. Not, yeah, Sorry. not quarters. One a quart is a one unit. We have quart, fluid ounce, something like this, right? So this is like one unit, like one dollars, one reels, one baht, one pound, something like this. One, but one dollar? Yes. And like cents are just like a dollar bill. No, a quote is a unit of what? No, like, like remember like the dollar that you were talking about? Mm -hmm. A dollar and like pennies or like quarts, quarters or like... Is it like a dollar bill? Just like one dollar pill bill? Yeah, one dollar bill. We have like quarter and something like this. A dollar divided by seven? No. So, okay. This is no, an know. example. So one one dollar is an example. Okay, don't mix up. This is just an example for your, like, to lead. One quart. Yes. So he have one quart of the ice cream, but he want to split into seven evenly. Yeah. So how do we do? How do we do? This would be so easier if I knew how much a quart was and like a fraction or like a decimal. Yeah, yeah. But now the operation first, like uh, we convert letter. One quart. How do we know that each member will receive? Each member, each of them will receive one quart. So we have to make them get all one quart, just like all of them get one quart? All of them, let's say like, okay, this is like the ice cream, let's say, okay, the ice cream here. The amount of ice cream is one quart. But then he wants to split this one quart into seven members. Like each of them will receive seven, one of one over seven, one. Then to do is to divide by seven, right? One, yeah, one over seven is seven, right? One divided by seven is seven. One divided by seven. Yeah. So each of them will receive like one part of seven of these one quart ice creams. Then, the, okay, like the units of one quart over seven, you can left the result to be like this because they don't tell to convert to whatever unit but if you want to make it like in a proper way you can convert quart to the what is the smaller units than quarts 
Uh, cups? No, 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 no. Cups? What? Cup? Yes. So. Pints. <clears throat> cup, 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 cup. I was thinking more like pints, but like mm -hmm. maybe something like. Okay. So how do we convert from quart to cup? Yeah, I also forgot like how to convert. Not a quart equals two pints and one pint equals two cups. I hope that helps. And I want to do pints. Can we do pints? Uh cup is more like a proper range. Oh, okay. okay so one quart equal to how many cups? One quart is how many cups? Two pints which equals two cups uh four cups. Four cups? So one quart is four cups? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, one quart is four cups. So we request one, uh, replace one quart by four cups over seven. Right. So each of that member receives four over seven cups. Or if you want to left, okay, this is the result: four over seven cups. If you want to let the result with the decimal number, okay, or not, this fraction is also okay. Perfectly reasonable. Yes. See, I think not. Uh, maybe uh, no. Maybe you think like, oh, this is higher thinking, so I need help, I need help. But then it's not like, very high, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, you split with seven, so divide by seven. If you get seven more times, so just multiply seven. Like Hold up, I'm, I'm adding something to it. Okay. 20. No. Which ones? How about number 17? Number 17, wait, wait. Uh, C, 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 C. Okay, number 17. <coughs> oh, okay, number 17. Let me write quickly. So, wait, we've done about like three problems right now, right? Yes, yes, yes. Not oh. yesterday, like we do only the ones. The whole. Oh, how about the second one I sent you? I think that's just simple. So, do you understand the second one that I sent to you yesterday? Or oh, any The second one I sent to you today as well. Is it uh, reasonable or. Oh, this is not be reasonable, please. Something like this. Reasonable. <laughs> It's just like a compliment answer. Ah, oh, is that about? But I don't even read. It's about ah, oh, yeah, is that about? But I did I read? No, I don't read. Uh, can I say something? Yes. It it wasn't the answer. Do you remember that problem we did like all day for like forty minutes? Yes. It was wrong. Really. Yeah. What is the answer, by the way? Yeah. My friend was right. Do you want? Do you want to know what she said? Yes. What she said. Uh. Hold up. Okay. So she said, "Do I'm gonna like say this to you or just?" Okay. The equivalent rate using zero point sixty two would be the most reasonable des estimate, as it's still a decimal, though the closest. Okay. 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 Zero okay. Let, let me check the. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. The equivalent rate using 0 0.62 would be the most reasonable estimate as it's still a decimal, though the closest. 0 0.75 is way too much and is not close to 1.5. And 0 0.75 is factually not the unit rate. 0 .60, 0 0.625 times 2.4 is 1.5. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, uh... The first part, she gave the answer to be. <clears throat> the first part? Yes, yeah, the first part. Okay, oh, let me just. Yeah. 
So 1.25 divided by what? Two. Divided by two. Why? Doesn't like why. It's, I don't know how to tell you this, but it's like two over two because, like, like, it's like dividing, like, equal sides, dividing the same number of equal sides. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but uh, why she take that divide by two? So when we know the constant rate, so basically like a northern run in... Why did you take 1.25 divided by 2? Yes, yes. When we know that 1.25 is the Kentucky Derby, right? 1.25 yeah. is 1, 1 quarter. So 1.25, 1, 1 quarter, which is Kentucky Derby. Derby, but uh, the question is at this constant rate, how long? Here the question: How long would it take Northern Dancer to run Berlin State? Yeah, yeah, and Berlin. But State... using the Kentucky Derby though, mm -hmm. that like the Kentucky Derby helps us to find out how long it's going to be for the Belmont Stakes. How? How how they like relationships? What is <laughs> in the Kentucky? You want me to ask her? Okay. Is it your uh, really homework or like you need to turn it in or? Yeah, I I had to turn it in yesterday, but it was all good because we had the answer. Mm -hmm. So it's already turned in. Mm -hmm. Is it the end? Yeah. Already turned in. Okay, so uh, we have nothing to change. So, okay, bye. Oh, yeah, it's already turned in. So uh, even we know, like, ah, oh, I need to change, and then like, how do I change? Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. bye. No, not bye. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. Bye, number, like problem number seven. Okay, so use the. Bye. Bye, math. I hate math. Actually, you, do, you are doing good in math. Like, I, I still admire you with the like calculation, like, oh, this is the by this, this is the by this, this multiply by this, this, this. Oh, it's faster. It's like a. You know, like I used to see, or maybe I told you once already, Indian people or Indian students, they do like something like this, this and they like get the results even faster than they calculate. So, oh, very nice. Let me ask you something, though. Let me ask you something. Yes, yes. Have I been as fast as I used to? Now? Um, yes, now. Now, when maybe after the New Year's, it's a uh, maybe it's lower it's a little bit like, I, don't know, I don't know like a why what's the reason before the new year's you're like oh, this is this is this is this is and then like uh, i mm -hmm. yes ah uh, hold up let me say the let me let me wait hold up okay hi mm -hmm. hold up <laughs> <laughs> I want okay. I think I think that's a really good compliment. Mm -hmm. Um you calculate really fast. I think I think I think bye. <laughs> okay, okay. No, it's not like a compliment that what it was. But now we use the calculator. So. But uh oh that is a problem like you use the calculator, sometimes it's incorrect. The result is incorrect. I'll stop using the calculator. Thank you. No, maybe the problem is using the calculator. So maybe you don't... So I need to stop using the calculator. Maybe, no, maybe you... Sometimes it's also good to use the calculators. But uh, maybe you don't know how to use calculator or what? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, maybe. Oh, okay. Or maybe the calculator is problem, like error, a lot of error with that. Oh, something like this. 
old calculator, so. Oh, okay. Maybe old calculator, yes. That can be, okay. So now, for this question, so the hole for a support post need to be six feet deep, so okay. So let's draw a hole here. Okay, let's see now. So this is six feet deep, have to be six feet deep. It is currently one foot eight in deep, so, so we already have Okay, okay. The pool is already here. Maybe this is one foot edge in deep. How much deep must be hole in? Must the hole be? No, okay. So six feet. No, the hole, the support must be six feet. But now it's already in one feet and eight in. So how much the holes? They ask about this. The green ones. How do we know? The hole. Mm -hmm. We convert. Okay, we convert in eight inches into like. We convert it into like. A foot hole, like we we convert we convert with the one feet eight inches into feet, and then we subtract it by six feet, so we yes. know how much. Okay, yes, yes, that's correct. So, uh, basically, it's we just take the whole deeps, which is six feet. The whole deeps will be six feet minus subtract with one feet and eight in. Then we will see the green ones, the length of the greens, the deep of the greens. Okay, so not the deep of the greens, not the deep of the green, the, the deeps, the hole, deeper of the hole is equal to six feet minus one feet. Eight inches, right? But we know that in order to subtract, now, in order to subtract two different things, we need to convert into one unit. We cannot like uh, convert this to this, this to this, different way, right? Okay. Wait. This okay, like this is one feet, but this is eight in, so we still don't know. So what do we convert? We convert feet to in or into feet? Inch to feet. Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Feet to inch. Correct, but Wait. wise. It would have to be reason wise. So we, we can add the, the, the one foot because eight inches, you can't convert eight inches into a foot. Correct, then. That is correct. So we deal with the smaller one because this is eight. In if we convert eight into feet, it will be like decimal number, decimal number, right? So we don't want to do that. So yeah. we want it like a easy number. So we convert into feet. So now. You wanna know what I'm gonna say? Mm -hmm. What do you want? To say? I was gonna say that we convert one foot into an inch, and then we add that plus eight, and then we convert that number into a foot. Oh, that's also the one reason it can be. So okay. we can, okay, six feet minus one foot is five feet. Correct. Yeah. And H A. So five foot like five feet h in so then now we don't want to give or we can give this as the answer it's already but they want us so the purpose of this exercise is also you to convert because this is like conversion measurement lesson so we need to convert need to convert 
So we convert five feet to in. How do we convert five feet to in? Yeah. One, we multiply 12 by 5, which is 60. Yes, so 5 feet nice. multiplied by 12 over in and h in. So this will be 5 times 12. 60. 60 plus h in. 68. 68 in. Just. Okay, in this. And then we could do it right now. We can break that into a foot or no. So they don't ask now. Here, the answer oh, the question is only like how deep it will be. So, oh, this only the, doesn't it like imply it though? Hmm? Like it says, like the hole for the support post needs to be six feet deep. So, like, how much deeper must the hole be? Wait, how much deeper? It's a uh... 68 inches, not feet. 68 inches. Okay. This much is 68 inches. So the, it must be 68 inches deeper? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now do you want to do actual problems? Because I did the rest of so I can do the rest. That is the actual problem, actually. It's not like a, not actual one. This is actual one. Okay, so um, what else we have? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. We have okay. Any more problems? Mm. No. You want to do like actual problems or like, or like you want to do like random problems? No. Yeah, for my book. Okay, so on, since this is already what you have, so okay, as for now, and then uh, well, we, hmm? bye. What we could do is we could take problems from the lesson that you're trying to like. You said we're on topic seven, right? Yeah, we are on topic seven already. So basically, like, do you want to do prob? Do you want to do problems from that lesson? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we will do. So, uh, yeah, actually, like, I'm planning to do for the like, topic seven, continue with topic seven today, but uh, so we have like, some problems, so let's solve this first, and then, like, we go with topic seven. I uh, think, or maybe you already forgot, like, how to calculate the circumference of the circle, the area of circle already, but uh, okay. So, yeah. um, we will continue topic seven tomorrow is it okay yeah was this a good lesson today it is okay was i focused <laughs> okay today is more focused than yesterday so that's okay <laughs>